Hey tribe, what is the vibe? <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome back to As I Am Tarot. I'm Kay and I'm here to do another reading for the collective. Please keep in mind these readings are general and may not resonate with everyone, so take what fits and leave other people's story for them. My readings are not gender specific, so a queen may be a king and vice versa. Don't focus on the gender, it's all about the energy. This reading may be about you, someone you know, someone related to you, or someone you may have had or still have in your energy, but only you will know which is which. <clears throat> okay, Holy Spirit, I ask that you give me clear, concise, accurate messages for the collective. Archangel Michael, I ask that you protect me from anything that is not of the holiest white light. Anything that is not of the holiest white light, please do not allow it to come in. In Jesus' holy name we pray, amen. <clears throat> All right, guys. <clears throat> Let's start off with some message cards. Oh, we have the snake. <clears throat> okay, what else? We have old school. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head, and we have heartbroken. Deeply hurt and sad, feeling lost, grieving and despair. Breakup. <clears throat> so, I'm feeling like somebody, whoever I'm speaking to, you could be heartbroken, or someone that you know or is connected to, is heartbroken and replaying things in their head about someone that you were in competition with or someone that put you in competition with someone else. <clears throat> you could be feeling the pain or this is your person. Clock. Well, it came out in the reverse, so. If it's in, re in the upright, it's needing time, time to heal, progressing. So if it came out in the reverse, I'm just guessing that you don't need any more time. I feel like. Healing heart. Healing, heartbreak, toxicity or addiction, abusive relationship. So if this was a abusive relationship that you were in, I feel like now you've gotten to the point where you're not taking it anymore. <clears throat> you're not dealing with it anymore. You were probably um, procrastinating when it came to this person. Cupid's arrow came out in reverse. Have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation, struck by love. So yeah, I feel like because of this situation, whatever situation with this other person, right? Yeah, now you're, you're making healthy choices now. It's all about self-love. You, you had, <clears throat> You may have had a lot of faith in this person, okay? You were, like, in love with this person. It was like this person was, like, everything to you at one point, okay? But whatever happened here with this competition and enemy, it's like you're not feeling the same anymore. So now you're trying to make healthy choices, which is why you don't need time. <clears throat> you don't need time anymore. All the time you needed, you took. And now, yeah, you have backstabbing. Yeah. Coming out on the heartbroken card. Yeah. So <sighs> for some of you, this may have been um someone you knew we have picture looking at pictures missing you nostalgia make new memories so you could be looking at pictures of you and your person or this is what they're doing right now 
There was some kind of um, backstabbing here. Mm, Phoenix, new phase and rekindle, renew and grow. Changed mind, rise from the ashes. Yeah, on, on the healing heart card, you're rising from the ashes. Can beauty come out from ashes? I just heard that. That's a Celine Dion song. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, and we have separation at the bottom of the deck. So you could be in separation from your person right now. Excuse me. All right, now. Let me clarify. Clarify this snake. Clarify this snake. We have three of fire, page of air. So somebody could be thinking about, it's like this person, I feel like they're waiting These cards are so big. I feel like whoever this person is, they're waiting for something. But I feel like they want to be truthful about whatever this, this person, this competition that they put you in. Okay? I feel like this person is waiting for something to happen before they could come in and be honest with you okay i feel like they could be um watching you and just waiting and for some of you i feel like this is the other person okay we have clarifying the old school card we have justice okay Yeah, I feel like I definitely feel like this is this is your person that is wanting to talk about something. All right, I feel like they they're wanting to give you they want to be fair. Okay, because if this person did backstab you, it's like I feel like they're thinking about it heavily. You may have walked away from this person. Okay, clarify this heartbroken card. Ooh. Ooh, we have the wheel in reverse. So, it's bad luck, okay? Um, it changed everything. Whatever this backstabbing was, it changed everything here. It's like it put everything, it pumped the brakes on what was going on between you guys, on your relationship. Clarify this clock. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay. We have Ten of Wands, Ten of Fire. We have Ego, which is number 15, right? Which is like the um, the Devil card in the Major Arcana. And then we have the Moon. And we also have Four of Cups. So, yeah. I feel like this person is like, okay, enough. This is... This, I feel like this person, you could be dealing with a water sign. You could be dealing with a cancer. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. But I feel like 
whatever this separation is between you and this person is causing them I feel like this person is like obsessed with you and it's causing them a lot of um it's like this person is is like look you know this person is stressed out I feel like this person needs your energy okay They're not happy right now. So I feel like this person could be coming in, okay, for some kind of communication right now. It's like they don't want to take any more time. Whatever time you've spent away from this person, for them, it's like, all right, that's enough. But you, you're healing. Right? Clarify this healing heart. Yeah, I feel like there is, like, there was kind of like a codependency here with this person. Okay? This person could also be, like, this person could have, like, an addictive personality as far as, like, the things that they, they do. Ace of Cups. Mm. Okay. So yeah, I feel like you used your intuition here. Your intuition told you what to do in this whole um this whole ordeal with this person. Your intuition, I feel like, was telling you what to do a long time before you started listening to it. Clarify this Cupid's arrow. I feel like this person puts you in a third party situation. And then now wanting to come back and I don't know. Or for some kind of Apology or explanation. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. I feel like... You're focused on yourself. You're focused on your work. You're focused on... Not focusing on whatever that was. Okay feel like clarify this healthy choices I feel like you're diving into the things that you may have been distracted from okay with this person clarify this healthy choices we have the eight of wands so like I said, I feel like you could be seeing 8-8, eight, eight, but I feel like, um, like I said, you're focusing, you're diving into everything that will keep you, keep your mind preoccupied. Like you put in a lot of things, a lot of different things on your plate right now to kind of get your mind off of whatever this was. This backstabbing. Clarify this backstabbing. Clarify this backstabbing. We have the star <clears throat> and we have 
five of wands so hmm, I do feel like I feel like this person put someone else in front of you okay I feel like they did put you in competition with someone else okay but I feel like with this star here I feel like they thought that whoever they backstabbed you with or for I feel like they thought this person was better than you for some of you they knew what they were doing okay I feel like they purposely wanted to put you in competition with this person okay I feel like they they tried to make you feel like this person was better than you some way somehow or this is probably how you felt as a result of this backstabbing clarify this picture seven of cups hmm so I feel like Either you or this person, whoever's looking at pictures and whoever's like reminiscing and being nostalgic right now, I feel like it's like they're overthinking it. It's like they're overthinking the whole whatever this was, this whole backstabbing situation, okay? Excuse me. It's like this person, it's like they knew what they had, but they still wanted more. I feel like this person is the type of person that is used to having options. And I feel like, okay, I feel like this is the type of person that's always looking for the next best thing, right? And I feel like that's what they did with you. They, they were looking for the next best thing. But at the same time, it's like they knew that they had something good but like I said, I feel like they're just used to, this person might be the type of person who normally has people that tolerates their BS just because they want to be with them. Okay. So this person could be good looking, you know, this person could be charismatic. Okay. We had the devil card come out. All right. So this person could be very authoritative, right? in a way clarify this phoenix yeah I feel like your mind is it's like you, you know you know what you need to do now because the gears are the gears are turning at full speed like you see what I'm saying so I feel like it's like now you know what you want. You know what you don't want. You know what you want. And you coming back full force. Can I find this Phoenix, please? Nine of Wands. Yep. You're protected, though. Spirit got your back. Ow. You see the angel back there? So I feel like... Whoever I'm speaking to, you could be very 
connected spiritually. Okay? You could be very connected to your spirit team. You could be very connected to source. Right? Okay. Let's see. But I feel like um this this mode that you're in right now of Knowing what it is that you want and knowing what you don't want, knowing what you're not going to tolerate. I feel like spirit helped you get to that point because of whatever this was over here. This, I feel like this, this had to happen in order for you to get to this point, this Phoenix, like, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes in order for us to start our, our healing journey. We have to have like a big tower moment, basically, you know, to kind of like kickstart it. You have past life relationship. You have known each other before. So, yeah, this could be like, um, a soul tie. Have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So I feel like you being in your healing process is going to attract the right person to you. Okay. Because you know, like attracts like. So yeah, you have soulmate. <laughs> you could be meeting someone new. Yeah. Codependency, but it came out in the reverse. So all of that codependency, like I mentioned before, that's a thing of the past now. Okay. That's not going to be. That's not going to be part of your relationships anymore. I don't feel like, I feel like, you know, because renew and re renew and growth, changed mind, rise from ashes. Okay. I don't think that if you rise from the ashes, you're going to go back into the thing that turned you into ashes. You feel what I'm saying? So I just feel like Whatever mindset that you were in when you were dealing with this person, it's like out the door. That's that's done with. Because where did it get you? You see what I'm saying? I feel like that's how you feel. Okay? So now you're just like, you know. I know what I have to do now. And I'm, I'm going to do it. Let me get you guys... <clears throat> Couple monology cards here. Give me some cards to the collector. Please, and get two. Okay, thank you. We have look at the bigger picture and adjustments are required. So, like I said, for some of you, you may still be in this situation, but I feel like your mindset is that of, no, this is not going to work. Okay, and I feel like if this person has been trying to make you feel like you're not good enough, okay, Spirit says you are. You are good enough, okay? 
And I feel like that's why they helped you get into this mindset of something's got to give. All right. But I'm going to leave it here, guys. I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If it did, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Later.